Listen. All I'm saying... All I'm saying is that it would make sense, right? Okay. Listen, this wasn't my idea. This was my manager's idea. I was talking, I had a meeting, and we were like, Hey, what if? Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh no, my manager brought up the idea of me of me taking an autism test and they were like, you know, it might explain a few things. So I'm just looking for answers tonight. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, reminder that if any of you people in chat get a little bit too get a little bit too comfortable, get a little bit too rowdy tonight, um, the mods are going to smite you with the might of Zeus. That's not a Who am I kidding? That is that is a me thing. I'll kill you. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh good lord. Fun fact! You're Oshi! You're Oshi! Tungsten Cube Boy, my brother! <laughs> I think he has Asperger's. I'm not sure exact he's somewhere on the on the on the thing. What, me when I move my hands. Oh no. He's somewhere on the thing. I know he has dyspraxia, and I know he also has something else. But I haven't been diagnosed with shit because I'm too cool to go to a therapist. <laughs> What did you mean by this? Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> so you know what? If you- If you say anything rude, we can both kill you. That's the law. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Me when the- Right, I'm- Oh no. I was like, nah. But then I was like, but what if? And then I, I had a f a, an extended flashback to literally everything I've ever done in my entire life. And I was like, Oh, no. But what if? <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna have a look. We're just gonna have a look. And if the test says no, then nothing has changed. If the test says yes, then also nothing has changed because that's how it works. Oh dear. The test does not make you have autism just by like you taking it. That's not. This is not going to turn me into somebody who has. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's not how numbers work. There are no numbers in this test. There might be some numbers in this test. Point is, nothing is changing based on me taking this test. We are only just knowing things that we didn't know before. That's wonderful. <laughs> Red Thunder is an autistic icon real. Thank you very much, DD. There is a chance that it's just going to say, like, nah, you're just weird. There's a difference. And I'll go, oh, okay. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I hope you're not disappointed if I don't turn out to have this one specific neurological condition. Hits the woe. Hits the woe. Hits the woe. Hits the woe. Oh dear. Sorry, I gotta keep you on your toes there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay then, get ready mods, you might be in for the fight of your life. <laughs> oh dear. Asexual <laughs> and autistic, just like me for real. No one ever said I wasn't relatable, apart from all those people who said that me living in a castle wasn't relatable. But apart from that, it's fine. I'm normal. I'm a YouTuber. I can't be relatable. That's not how it works. I'm going to do my homework now. I'm going to learn about what the fuck I've been signed up for. This was the one that my manager sent me, so you know what? If it's weird... Tweet longer time. I love that for me. It's a 13 minute read. I don't know if I can... I can that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's see. The Revito Autism Asperger Diagnostic Scale Revised Radzer is a self-report questionnaire designed to identify adult adult autistics. It's not a term I've heard before, but uh, pop off, I guess. Who escape diagnosis? Me when I escape diagnosis, I'm on the run. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Goodbye. <laughs> so long, diagnosis! Mm. <laughs> I'm not funny. I'm not funny. Autism or no, I'm just an unfunny person. No diagnosis can change that. You've been diagnosed with serious, <laughs> with serious cringe. Did I say you've been diagnosed? That's not okay. Going to, to, to a, sub -le a subclinical level presentation. That means nothing to me. 80? 80 questions? 
Okay, well, uh, it was nice knowing you. I don't- I, I don't think I can do this. That's too much words. <laughs> oh boy, let me take the one published in 2008 instead with two less questions. That's gonna save me so much time. Right then. Take the test here. I think it's the same page. Uh, this test, by the way, does have a one star of you on Yelp, so we're- We're in good hands. We're in good hands. Appropriate and respectful what- This test is going to insult you. This test is going to look into your fucking soul, and it does not like what it sees. Oh, dear. Clarity and lack of ambiguity. I have no I, I don't know what the fuck it wants. I don't know what it wants from me. <laughs> That's how you know it's accurate. Something something pinches of salt. <laughs> Who the test is designed for? Adults age 16 plus with ASD level 1 or subclinical autism. But how would you know if you have autism, if they're making you do another autism test? For surely the first tests that you would have taken would have told you that you have autism. Mm, I'm very intelligent. Mm. <laughs> oh no. And this is why I didn't go into psychiatry. <laughs> oh dear. Adults with an IQ in the normal range. IQ isn't real, get out of here. You have citations? That means nothing to me, that's great. <laughs> Citation needed. Versions and translations. The ads are- the, the ads? YouTube advertising, finally. The Rats R test has been translated into Swedish and it was also available in most languages through Google Translate. That's very reassuring. <laughs> but it's January 13th, 2022. It seems the online Rats R test may have been taken down. As far as we know, we are currently the only ones host the Rads R test online, albeit in English only. Bold of you to assume I can speak French anymore. <laughs> Taking the test. The Rads R test is a self-developed report instrument. However, the author has mentioned that a clinician might help the participant interpret items if they have difficulty understanding the question. Please help that not be me, please. <laughs> oh dear. Chat, you get to be the, honor the honorary clinicians or whatever, the honorary therapists today. For one day only. After tomorrow, you're going in the bin. Okay, let's see. The test assesses developmental symptoms correlating with the three DSM-5 diagnostic categories, language, social relatedness, and sensory motor, as well as the fourth subscale, circumscribed in-, in, in What is a circumscribed interest? What do you- What did Bro mean by this? The circumscribed interest subscale is made up of 14 statements. The focus of these statements is on details preference. Focuses on details before the big picture, but can do both. Upset when the unexpected occur- Wait, no, that's just me. I'm gonna ignore that for the sake of spoilers. <laughs> it's hyperfixation. That makes sense. It consists of 80 statements, giving you four choices for each statement. True now and when I was young. True now only. True now only when I was 16 younger than 16 or never true. That's what that said. If you decide to take the test, please consider the discussion section below. I love discussion. Dis Natalie! Oh my god, my therapy or she. <laughs> The test has been validated and cited in the medical literature numerous times. However, as both an autistic and a psychotherapist, I had some concerns with the rats. <laughs> girl is. I mean, firstly, girl. But secondly, girl is like, yeah, no, I have autism, and I'm like, what the? F what am I looking at? <laughs> oh no, Natalie, why you built? Why, why are you built like the guy from Assassination Classroom? <laughs> Natalie, no! <laughs> Natalie, that's not what this is! <laughs> oh, good god. Let's see. Which one am I? The average score for female neurotypicals. 30,705 took this test. Total score... 80. Yes. I'm gonna get a great score in autism, which is a normal impossible thing to want and achieve. <laughs> Oh dear lord. Let's see, the average score for males with suspected ASD. Okay, so we're aiming for like the, 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 the 140s maybe actually. I shouldn't go into this with the thought that I'm aiming for a specific number! <laughs> I've gotta hit my autism high score. 
Oh no, I've got a speed run. I've got a speed run not being neurotypical. We're so back, we're so back. <laughs> oh god. You will pass the test. I don't know if this... I don't know if passing the test is some... I don't think they'll give me a failing grade in autism. I don't think that's how this works. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> You were less- you were less willing for me to pass my freaking psychology exam when I took that on stream. <laughs> but now it's like, she might be one of us. Brinny, you gotta pull through. <laughs> oh god. Autism GCSE- no, I don't think that's- This said it was for people 16 and up. You know what you also take when you're 16? GCSE exams! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh dear. The scoring range of the Rad Czar is 0 to 240. A score of plus 65 of uh, no, that's over 65 indicates you are likely autistic, as no neurotypical scored above 64 in the research. <laughs> I don't know why the phrasing of that is 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 quite funny to me. <laughs> Listen, none of them scored above 64. If you are 65 or above, something is going on. We are getting to the bottom of this. <laughs> A score of below 65 means you are likely not autistic. 97. You can't put a probability on this, I don't think. I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> Spin the rule ra the, the rule that real. If it if it if a ro <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ is destroying me. Oh no. Come on, if it lands on black, you know, you have Asperger's. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works! Guys! Guys! <laughs> Autism A levels when? <laughs> I got a B. No, I got a. Well, I got an E in French. Not for A levels, for GCSE or whatever it was. <laughs> oh dear. If I roll a nat 20, does that mean I have autism? It might, honestly, Kai. I'm not sure. Kai, you took this test, didn't you? That. No, my manager said, you know, Kai took this test, and it was interesting. <laughs> What did you mean by this? <laughs> Kai, what's your high score in autism? <laughs> We've gone from like, can I beat people's Beat Saber high scores to... Do I have substantially more autism? <laughs> it's 150. Okay, boys, we've got a target. <laughs> oh dear. You know what? Let's stop worrying about all these words and whatever. Oh no, we can look at the scoring. We can look at the the subscales. I'm going to ignore this real quick. <laughs> you know what? Where's the- God, she's back! Oh dear lord. Okay, Natalie, where are you? Oh, here's the test. Oh god, she's so happy. She's so happy. She's having a great time. <laughs> right, you know what? Let's turn on some test-taking music. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the real shit. <laughs> I will read the super chats and such probably after my exam is finished. The rads are radical! It is radical. If you have autism, you can automatically do a sick kickflip. I'm the psychiatrist here, I know. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I am a sympathetic person. I'm mean, we know this. No further questions. I often use words and phrases from movies and television and conversations. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> yes. Oh no. The amount of times in one day I quote Shakespeare and Hathaway Private Investigators Season 4 Episode 1 should probably tell you that for free. Oh no. <laughs> Nothing is sacred. I'm often surprised when others tell me I have been rude. Never true. I know when I'm being mean. Fuck you. <laughs> Hi. Hey. I just oh boy. Say what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm getting an ad for Bumble! Never mind, I'm turning on that one dinky ass song from Kirby, except it loops again. No, I'm. No, I'm turning on Splatoon music. I changed my mind. 
fuck you. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> what the fuck? Sometimes I talk too loudly or too softly and I'm not aware of it. I don't think so. I know that I'm, I'm being way too loud now. I can be normal in a meeting. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Listen, I know that I'm being silly goofy. I know that I don't have an indoor voice, but during meetings, I, I can chill. I have a meeting at 10 p.m. <laughs> I overslept my meeting today and now I have a meeting at 10 p.m. So I'll have to use my indoor voice. <laughs> I'm okay. I often don't know how to act in social situations. Me when the... <laughs> the less said about that, the better. I can put myself in other people's shoes. I feel like I can do that more now than when I was younger. I don't think I grew empathy until I was like... 20 something. <laughs> like I wasn't a dick on purpose, but like... <laughs> I was just like, oh, sucks to be you, I guess. No, I went to... I went to my sister's wedding many years ago. I went to my sister's we uh, my sister's wedding. And we were getting our hair done right before the ceremony. And mum was like, wow, Rin, you have, you have such... <laughs> no, no, my sister was like, wow, Rin, I'm jealous. You have such nice hair. And I was like, well, it sucks to be you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking wedding day! <laughs> many moons ago. You have a sister, it's a long story. Half sit on my dad's side and she's a twin with the... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, Nikki, maybe it does suck to be you. Right. <laughs> Wait a second, maybe this isn't true anymore. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on. I have a hard time figuring out what some phrases mean. Like, you are the apple of my... What the fuck does that mean? I know it's, like, showing it signifies... What is it? Like, I like you. Or whatever. Oh, you're the apple of my eye. But I actually, I couldn't give you a definition of that phrase now. I think Snebby might be the apple in my eye. I like Snebby. God damn, I like Snebby. Fun fact, there are currently two Snebby streams happening simultaneously because I'm pretty sure Isla, my sister, my- <laughs> Who I didn't tell on her wedding day that has not happened yet. <laughs> that her hair was worse than mine. My- my VTuber sister Isla Yu, she is drawing me and that means drawing Snebby, we're so back. Double Snebby! Double the Snebby, double the good times. Anyway, yeah, um... What? What did- what did bro mean by this? What did bro mean by this? <laughs> I don't know what that means and I'm scared to ask. I thought for the longest time when I was a child that biting your nails was like a metaphor. I I pick at my nails because I'm terrible. <laughs> oh dear. So I keep them, I, 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 I keep my claws sharp like a cat or something, I don't know. I pick up my nails instead of using like a fucking nail clipper. I like tear them off or whatever because I'm normal. <laughs> and I thought that that was what biting your nails meant, but no, it, it turns out I don't understand people who do that. My friend like bites his nails and I was like, what? It doesn't taste good though. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> oh no. I thought that was a metaphor. I thought biting your nails was a metaphor. Incredible. Wonderful. As it turns out though, if you do just like bite your nails or whatever, if you just get like a nice manicure done or something, then you're like, oh, I don't want to ruin this, so you stop doing it. <laughs> I should start putting clear coating on my nails again. Let's do that, okay. Wait, maybe not after girls night, never mind. I only like to talk to people who share my special interests. If you don't talk about Shakespeare and Hathaway, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Listen, being in a VTuber company means you have to talk to all sorts of people. Some of whom are managers. Some of <laughs> some of whom don't want to watch Shakespeare and Hathaway. <laughs> Probably when I was younger than 16 then, because it's like, oh, you don't like this one specific thing? Out of this house. <laughs> oh no. It doesn't mean you like talking to them. What the fuck? 
Oh, no. I like annoying my managers, but that's different. I focus on details rather than the overall idea. A little bit. There's no option for, like, a little bit sometimes. I'm thinking of scenarios, I'm thinking of situations, and I'm like, kinda, but not really, but sometimes, but a little bit, but, but not entirely. <laughs> this test needs a kinda option. Every test could be made better with a kinda option. Hmm. Let's see. Probably... No, this is gonna give me a higher score in autism, autism isn't it? So I'll say... I'll say never true, just to just to really lock my score down. I'm not being generous to myself here. I always notice how food feels in my mouth. This is more important to me than how it tastes. I do notice the mouthfeel of foods, but it's not the only reason why I think that tomatoes are gross. <laughs> but I think I'll say this because it is a big thing for me. I'll, go, I'll eat like a, like a, what's it? Wrong carrot. What's a, a parsnip? I'll eat a parsnip. I'll go. I'll eat a parsnip. I'll go. I can't do this anymore. You know? You ever just eat a parsnip? I'm not a parsnip hater. I just can't deal with it. I'll eat a pear. I'll eat a pear. And like, I want to like a pear. I want to like pears as a fruit. But the skin makes me go. And I just can't do it. And I just can't do it. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> oh no. The wrong carrot! A carrot, but incorrect. <laughs> oh dear. I miss my best friends or family when we are apart for a long time. Honestly, not really. Like, not in a I don't even like them kind of way. But like, I don't see my brother for like pretty long. Or my dad for long periods of time. Just because of where we live and stuff. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. They're probably chilling. <laughs> Rin feeding time. No, don't send me pears. I don't want this. Thank you very much. Oh, no. I think I cope pretty well. I mean, I've had like entire, entire... <laughs> I've had like weak stretches where I've just been alone in the house. Best time of my fucking life. <laughs> I'm good, honestly. I thrive in solitude. Hi, Rinzo, I'm late, but I would like to say I'm autistic and would like to welcome you to the club. I haven't even finished it. I'm an eighth of the way through the test. <laughs> Oi. But thank you very much, Nightfox. <laughs> Sometimes I offend others by saying what I am thinking, even if I don't mean to. I don't think so. I think I keep a pretty good... Listen, you gotta, you gotta realize the difference between streaming Rin and normal society Rin. I have to talk to a lot of important people in my life. If I did not know how to hold my fucking tongue by now, <laughs> I probably would have been executed. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Oh, no. Can you imagine if that was high? I, like, go to a tea party or something. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, miss. <laughs> my hair is also better than yours. And then just... To the guillotine. Wonderful. Hmm. It's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game. I only like to think and talk about the few things that interest. Don't worry about. I'd rather go out to eat in a restaurant by myself than with someone I know. Okay, no, this is where it gets difficult. Hey kids, you ever had comorbidity? Comorbidity is when you have two or more things instead of just one thing. For example, if there was a social anxiety test, I think I would also pass with flying colors. <laughs> oh no, and that's why I'm a VTuber. Way! <laughs> oh no, the, the thought of going to a restaurant by myself and having to talk to the waiter and going, oh, yeah, I, 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 I you, you're, 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 tell, you're telling me that a, a shrimp fried this rice? There's nothing less appealing in the entire world, honestly. I'm gonna go with my extrovert friends, and we are going to go to, like, fucking Pizza Express or something, and... No, now I'm reminding myself of a socially anxious time I had at a Pizza Express. 
Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, God, why is it always Pizza Express? Why is it always Pizza Express? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yikes. Yeah, no, I'm I, not in the mood. Not in the mood. I cannot imagine what it would be like to be someone else. I think I'm getting better at that. I think I'm getting a little bit better. I like to try and see other people's perspectives even if I'm going to make fun of them for them later. <laughs> oh dear. I've been told that I'm clumsy. Oh, no one's told me this, but I feel it in my heart. But like, let's just, let's just clamp down on this a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> What's Pizza Express? It's like a pizza restaurant chain thing. They sell pizza. They sell pizza. <laughs> They also sell pizza in Tesco's, but it's a- that's different, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, pizza Express is when the pizza goes fast. I never would have guessed. <laughs> oh, dear. I can have poise if I try. It's just most of the time I'm not trying. <laughs> we'll see if that changes when they start calling me in for, like, 3D things. Oh, dear. Others consider- I understand when friends need to be comfort- My B. <laughs> no, you know what? Actually, true only now. Because I was terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. Now I feel like if someone is, is saying sad words, and I can be like, there, there. I'm not very good at it, but God knows I try. <laughs> right. I am very sensitive to the way my clothes feel when I touch them. How they feel is more important to me than how they look. Honestly, so true, Bursty. There's a reason that I'm literally streaming in my in my pajama hoodie right now. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking cozy. I'm so fucking cozy. My uncle got mad at me for only wearing pajamas around the house most of the time. <laughs> oh dear. But why would I change clothes? Why would I wear jeans? I hate jeans. Fuck jeans. <laughs> boots and the jeans and the boots and the jeans. Oh dear, is the music a little bit too quiet, maybe? I want to hear the, the beautiful sounds of the Splatoon 2 OST, please. <laughs> Wonderful. Jeans hater of W. <laughs> yeah, we're all about the jorts here instead, baby. I like to copy the way that people that certain people act and speak. It helps me appear more normal. Hear me out. I'm s- I s- I s- There is still something viscerally wrong every time I try and say, I'm fine, and how are you? That doesn't feel normal, that feels alien. That feels bad and incorrect. I- it, Someone will be like, oh, hello, Rin, how are you? And I- uh, My normal response is just, I'm good, anyway. <laughs> but no, normal society says you must say I'm fine and how are you and then the other person goes oh I'm good thanks anyway moving on like no what cringe silly ah! <laughs> so I, I I just I just have to copy that I'm gonna I've got to I've got to practice learning to be real I'll do it I'll do it and then I'll be the strongest bitch you've ever met it can be very intimidating for me to talk to more than one person at the same time. I've gotten better at this because I have to do meetings. <laughs> oh dear. I used to also have the social anxiety problem. Everyone is talking. I'm not going to talk over them. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> but I'm getting better. Uh, nature is healing and so am I. I have to act normal to please other people and make them like me. Oh, that's make them like me. I can't just assimilate them into the Rin brain. <laughs> but also, why is there not a situational one? I can be the weird, the biggest weirdo I want to be on the entire planet when I'm streaming. But if I'm doing anything else, it's like, okay, I need to be like a sane person. I can't just speak in like Shakespearean English all day. That's not normal. <laughs> Tisn't an option, my guys. I'll say never true. Because we're trying to get the- We're trying not to be, like, overly generous with this. Meeting new people is you- 
I get highly confused when someone interrupts me when I'm talking about something I am very interested in. I don't get confused, I just get pissed off. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you about how in Shakespeare and Hathaway, season four, episode one, part of the set design is just an iPad that the BBC glued onto a door and they didn't even glue it on straight. <laughs> Can't believe this, hate it here. It is difficult for me to understand how other people are feeling when we are talking. Meh. I've learned. I've learned how to be a real boy. The salmonid music starting now is not a good sign for that, but okay. <laughs> I like having a conversation with several people, for instance, around a dinner table, at school, or at work. On one hand, the social anxiety, but on the other hand, it's like, well, if you're in a physical space with someone, it's easier to actually do any conversationing with them, so... Yeah, yeah let's just mark that. Why are there no situational ones? Good lord, where am I? I take things too literally, so I often miss what people are trying to say. Honestly, so true, Basti. <laughs> You have to- you can't use metaphor with me. You have to beat the meaning into my brain like a- like a brick. Like a brick to my skull. You can't use fancy metaphors, it's not gonna work. You need to tell me exactly what I need to hear, otherwise I'm going to misinterpret you. Managers, are you listening? This is why I fuck up so often. <laughs> oh no, it is very difficult for me to understand when someone is embarrassed or jealous. Probably, because I don't think I've run into any embarrassed or jealous people in the last 15 years. <laughs> oh dear god. Hmm. Some ordinary textures that do not bother others feel very offensive when they touch my skin. I can't stand, like, the satin feeling you get on the inside of blazers. It makes me go... Ugh. I'm not, not a fan. Not a, there's, once again, there's a reason I only wear pajamas. You put me in a blazer with short sleeves on underneath, and I go... situation, boy. That's why I wear long sleeves so much. <laughs> it's all my jackets, otherwise they'll just feel terrible on the inside. Oh no. <laughs> mm. Mm. I get extremely upset when the way I like to do things is suddenly changed. Not extremely upset, but like, I'm not happy about it. Mm. I don't like when unplanned things happen. It's like, oh, Oh, are you saying I have to go outside today? I'm not really in the mood to do that now. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Probably not extremely upset though. I think it was worse when I was when I was younger. So I'll put that one down as that. I've never wanted or needed to have what other people call an intimate relationship. Um, yeah, true, but it's not about that. <laughs> True, but I think it's something slightly different. <laughs> oh dear, someone's gonna take that an interesting way. Oh boy. Mods, ready the might of Zeus! <laughs> We're going for the letter A bingo tonight, boys. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't understand the appeal, really. Just play Pikmin 4, it's, it's way easier. Just play Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch family of consoles in 2017. It's way easier. <laughs> it is difficult for me to start and stop a conversation. I need to go- I need to keep going until I am finished! <laughs> I mean, I'm- I just don't know how to like- I'm one of those people where if we're having a phone call, I'll be like, Okay, bye! Mm -hmm, bye. See ya! Bye bye! Have a, have a nice day! But- But I- I just don't- Yeah, kind of true actually. <laughs> Oh dear. Let's put this one because this feels accurate. Let's see. I speak with a normal ri- The same sound, color, texture, or, or texture can suddenly change from very sensitive to very dull. I don't get that. That's not a- that's not something I experience. The phrase, I've got you under my skin, makes me uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, when you say it like that. <laughs> Yeah, because what the fuck does that mean? 
<laughs> I'm sc What are you going to do? What do you mean I'm under your skin? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? I am in your skin. <laughs> Please get out. It's mine. It's private property. Oh, dear lord. How oddly specific. <laughs> this explains the one out of five stars for clarity, honestly. Sometimes the sound of a word or high-pitched noise can be painful to my ears. Not high-pitched noises, but... I'm very sensitive to loud noises. If someone's frying something on the oven, I don't know how cooking works either. That's not an autism thing, that's a rent thing. <laughs> if someone, like, puts a steak in the oven, on the frying pan, on the hob, and it goes pshhh, and it's so fucking loud, I'm like, I have to go in the other room, this is too much, I'm- bye bye <laughs> Oh no. I'm an under- I do not connect with characters in movies and cannot feel what they feel. True, bestie. They are but spectacles for my wild machination. <laughs> mm. I feel for them, but I don't feel what they feel. That seems a little bit strange. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right then. I cannot tell when someone- Listen. Listen, okay? <laughs> Oh dear, we've reached the 65 point threshold, let's go! SPOILERS! <laughs> no bank seating for my autism test! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh dear. No, genuinely, I've had times in my life where I've been told like, Oh yeah, I, I used to like you a few years ago, or whatever. And you just, you just never said anything about it, and I was like, huh? <laughs> huh? Cool. You wanna play Mario Kart? <laughs> Genuinely just in one ear out the other. I'm not looking at that. I'm not looking at that. <laughs> I can see in my mind in exact detail the things that I am interested in. Right now I'm thinking about Frank Hathaway from the show Shakespeare and Hathaway Private Investigators in season one, episode one, saying you can forget your human rights. <laughs> Probably because it's a Discord sticker that I make. <laughs> but also, I can't conjure an apple, so I'm gonna say true only now. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and conjure an apple. I've literally got my fingers on like the temples of my head, trying to stimulate the apple conjuring centers of my brain. I can conjure something that almost resembles an apple. That's- okay, let's take an aphantasia test one day. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Rin, look up loop earbuds. They help with noise. We might be so back. We might be so back. I will look that up afterwards then. Business expense! <laughs> right, okay. I keep lists of things that interest me, even when they have no practical use. For example, sports statistics, train schedules, calendar dates, historical facts, and dates. Sounds like something I would do, but I don't actually do it in practice. Hmm. Does me cataloging everything I've obtained in Animal Crossing count? No. Actually, I don't in practice, but I'd love to in theory because I love writing wikis. I never get to do it. I never get to do it. I just don't have the opportunities all the time. But by god, I fucking love wikis. I'm going to start the Rin Penrose wiki and it's going to catalogue every single one of my streams. <laughs> oh, one day Rin, one day. Oh boy. Okay. I should ask if I can actually start a, a, a Rin Penrose wiki. I'm gonna start it on Mirror Haze. And then we're gonna catalogue every single Rin stream. And we're gonna go fucking crazy. Oh, hell yeah. Make a stream- I'm literally gonna ask them about that right now. The management, I mean. Stream idea. I make the Rin Penrose wiki dot com. I, okay, that, that, that's, that idea's been thrown out into, into the world now. Oh, fuck yeah. I love wikis. <laughs> oh, boy. You already have a page and at least two wikis. Probably true. I know I- 
I know I, I have one on the virtual whatever whatever. The virtual YouTubers wiki. I don't know what the other one is. Might be the one that's just YouTubers. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to look. Is there an Idol Corp wiki? We should make one. Screw that better, cooler idea. Idol Corp wiki. Epic. If any of you fuckers start that before I get to become the admin, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry so hard. <laughs> oh no. Didn't you already make your own wiki page? There was Wikipedia, that's different. Don't look at me. When I feel overwhelmed by my senses, I have to isolate myself to shut them down. When the steak fries too loud? Hmm, <laughs> maybe. I kind of got that on the 20th, actually. I did three streams in one day, and I was like, I just need to sit down with, like, no audio-visual input for a little while and just cool off. <laughs> oh, no, so I'll put, I'll put that as true. I like to talk things over with my friends. I like talking to my friends. Uh, true only now, because I was an antisocial little garbage garbage child. <laughs> I cannot tell if someone is interested on board with what I'm saying. Always. So true, bestie. It can be, be very hard to read someone's face, hand, and body movements when they are talking. Yeah, no, I have no idea. What, why are you, Why are you built like that? What are you doing? <laughs> the same things, like clothes or temperatures, can feel very different to me at different times. Eh, not really. Mm. I feel very comfortable with... <laughs> No, no, bye, bye, bye. I'm not even reading the rest of the quest and get out of here. <laughs> I try to be as helpful as I can when other people tell me their personal problems. I, no, because I get the social anxiety thing of I'm going to make it worse, so I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> what the fuck? Oi, this is a call out. This stats is trying to call me out. What the hell? Uh. I'll say true only now, because 16 year old me would have not done that. <laughs> I have been told that I have an unusual voice. That's just being- that's just being British! That's just being British! That's different! That's not autism! That's just living in England! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, this song right now is your brain. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. <laughs> kind of true, though. Oh, no. Sometimes a thought or subject gets stuck in my mind, and I have to talk about it even when no one is interested. Flayon will know about this. Would you like to watch more Shakespeare and Hathaway with me? <laughs> There's this one episode, right? With the best murder scene I've ever... No. 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 Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, good god. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> which- <laughs> Which part of my analysis was incorrect? Helena? He would do that. That character would- That character would go- And then he'd get murdered by a Roomba, that's great. <laughs> Oh no. We're so back. We're so back, Shakespeare and Hathaway fans. <laughs> I do certain things with my hands over and over again, like flapping, twirling sticks or strings, waving things by my eyes, kinda. No, no, I do. I'm literally doing it now and I didn't even notice. I like pick at the skin that's underneath my nails. Don't ask how. It's, it's hard to explain. I literally just do that. That's incredible. She's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> I've never been interested in what most most of the people I know consider interesting. What is EastEnders? Someone please explain what the fuck is Love Island? I'm too scared to ask at this point. What is the appeal of Gogglebox? I don't know. Is it just a reaction video? <laughs> oh, it's mostly TV. Why do people like Strictly so much? 
the only reason I watch Strictly is so I can figure out how to steal the concept and turn it into a VTuber stream. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm considered a compassionate... No. No. My heart is like ice. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I get along with other people by following a set of specific rules that help me look normal. No, I get along by forcing them to like me with threats and violence. It's very difficult for me to work in functioning groups. It was a lot harder when I was younger. Nowadays, uh, we planned one isekai collab this year. We got- we- we're so back. We're so fucking back. <laughs> when I'm talking to someone, it is hard to change the subject. If the other person does so, I can get very confused and upset. I'm good. I'm good. I can pivot. I've got this. Sometimes I have to cover my ears to block out painful noises like vacuum cleaners. Or yes! Yeah! So true, bestie! So true, bestie! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. The steak or, like, a vacuum cleaner is too loud, and I'm like, oh, yeah, not in the mood. Might also be a tinnitus thing, but uh, who knows. <laughs> I can chat and make small talk with people. So, how's the weather with you? <laughs> oh no. This sounds like a 2012 stream. Well, that's where all the best streams were from. We should really just bring 2010's YouTube back, you know? When are VTubers gonna start doing Draw My Life? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Where are the prank VTubers? That's all I'm saying. That was the golden age of YouTube. <laughs> oh no, I said the words. Sometimes things that should feel painful are not. For instance, when I hurt myself or burn my hand on the stove. Kind of. Kind. Well, it depends if it's like self-inflicted or whatever. Like I can power through pain when I'm playing funny video game or whatever because lol video games. So that doesn't hurt. But if someone puts my hand on the stove, of course I'm going to go, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, I think I did burn myself a few days. No, yeah, that's a burn. I burnt my knuckle trying to put some smiley face potatoes in the oven. <laughs> it's over. It's uh, I've burnt myself so many times since I started using the oven. And that's a sign as to why I should stop. <laughs> Third degree burns. 28 stab wounds. When talking to someone, I have a hard time telling when, uh, telling when it is my turn to talk back or listen. Honestly, pretty true. So I just noticed the calamari incantation is playing. We interrupt this stream to bring you Yeah, Wenny, Mare, Hide, Kara, Hide, Suli, Yumira, Kera, Son, Hide, Kali, Kyori, Hera, Enura, Hera, Noon, Yura, Unera, Yura, Wera, Finera, Ni. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm considered a loner by those who know me best. Probably true. I text people back with abysmal timing. <laughs> I usually speak in a normal tone. Uh, not up. <laughs> I like things to be exactly the same day after day, and even small changes in my routines upset me. I don't really have a routine, honestly. I wake up. <laughs> I don't really have a routine, per se. It's like I wake up, I brood, I look at the fire in the sky festival. <laughs> Think about, uh. So let's say a stream is cancelled, then I just play like fucking video games or whatever. I'm like, damn, shit, that's really how it is on this bitch of an earth. Then I just do more work. I'm good, honestly. How to make friends and socialize is a mystery to me. I have no idea how I got this far. I'm only friends with Fleon because I started bullying him in Splatoon. <laughs> you ever think about that? You ever remember that's how Fleon and I met? <laughs> he was playing Splatoon on stream and I was like... <laughs> that's what this is! I can't repeat that! How does that work? <laughs> Not normal. Not normal. It calms me to spin around or rock in a chair when I'm feeling stressed. Wait a second. I'm not rocking in my chair, I'm bopping in my chair right now. Listen. 
It's a little bit loud. <laughs> sure, why not? The phrase, he wears his heart on his sleeve, does not make sense to me. Yeah, no, what the? I know it's like about being upfront with one's emotions, but like. On his sleeve? Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> If I'm in a place where there are many smells, textures to feel, noises or bright lights, I feel anxious and frightened. Eh, I think I'm good. Unless it's... unless it's fucking... <laughs> like, I can go to a shopping center or whatever, I'm good. Which is, as we know, hell on earth. <laughs> fireworks! No, I just don't like fireworks because of the things that they stand for. <laughs> like, fun. Hmm. I can tell when someone says one thing but means something else. Never true. Never true. <laughs> I like to be myself as much as I can. So true, bestie. They can't stop me forever! <laughs> I keep my thoughts stuck to my memory like they are on filing cards and I pick out the ones I need by looking through the stack and finding the right one. Or another unique- I'm not fucking Sherlock from BBC's Sherlock! Get out of here! <laughs> what the hell? The same sound sometimes seems very loud or very soft, even though I know it hasn't changed. Eh, not really. Only thing is, I'm starting to think maybe I have less hearing in my right ear than I do in my left, because every time I put in my fucking AirPods, I can't hear as well. <laughs> Kai said the exact same thing. Well, then it's true. <laughs> you don't have a mind palace, Corinne. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Right then. I haven't actually seen BB... I should do a watch along of fucking BBC's Sherlock just to be mad about it because I know it's not good. <laughs> no, we only have like three things as a culture left. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Theme song of Rad's artist. Sorry, I just uh, that just felt pertinent. Mm. <laughs> Not the phone music. <laughs> I enjoy spending time eating and talking with my family and friends. I can have a little snack. Just a little one, though. I only have the, the, the stomach capacity of one ant. Oh boy, I can't tolerate things I dislike! So true, bestie, but that's mostly because I'm, like, pretentious and annoying. <laughs> I can tolerate... I can't tolerate them. I'm terrible. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Never true. I love sharks. <laughs> I can snuggle a blahaj, and I think that counts. No one touches me. No one has ever shown me physical affection before. Good riddance. Hits the woe. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I don't have very much experience with being quote-unquote hugged or held. Being held sounds like it's like fucking restraint, like <laughs> being held by police custody. <laughs> no one's given me a hug in years. I think Juna did. I was fine with that, it's fine. She did also attack me, so I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Lol. <laughs> when I go somewhere, I have to follow a familiar route or I can get very confused and upset. More like... <coughs> I'm good. I'm good. Normal sneeze. When I go somewhere, I have to uh, follow on the familiar route. That just sounds like otherwise I'll get lost. <laughs> I don't think it's true for that reason. I, I just think it's- I just think it's true because, um, I'm bad at directions. <laughs> right then. It's difficult to figure out what other people expect of me. So true, bestie. What do they want? Just say what you want. I like to have close friends. Yaha, friendship is based. People tell me I give too much detail. I've never heard that in my entire life. Normally it's just to stop talking about Shakespeare and Hathaway. <laughs> right, we're nearly there. I'm often told that I ask embarrassing questions. I don't do that because I have tact. And I tend to point out other people's mistakes. Not to their faces, a wink. <laughs> Not to their faces. Not to their faces, but I'll say yes because I can be very annoying sometimes. <laughs> oh dear. 
Not in a like, oh, did you see what Stacy did? <laughs> but more in like, Stacy did this thing. I don't know why she did that. That was a little bit silly. <laughs> that was a little bit silly, goofy. That's not pointing it out then. Damn it, you're right. 81, my reading comprehension sucks. <laughs> Give me a score, baby! Boys. I think I passed autism. I think I passed my autism test. <laughs> Boys, I think I did it! <laughs> I think this means I should get checked out for a diagnosis now. <laughs> Social relatedness subtotal. Don't look at that. I'm normal. <laughs> One of us! One of us! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes. Download my free PDF. What does my score mean? Let's see. 143. Strong evidence for autism. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. It probably could have been higher if I'd been more generous with myself on the questions, but like... This is the absolute baseline. This is the absolute- this explains some things. <laughs> autism funds, get yourself the premium version. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> What did I mean by this? <laughs> oh no, good lord. <laughs> Does Rin Penrose is autism? The rumor come out. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not gonna start saying that I have autism because I, I should get a, like, a fucking diagnosis but there's, it's, the sun's gonna burn out before I have time to go and actually spend my day doing that. <laughs> I don't even know where the nearest psychotherapist is. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, then I have autism in the same way I have social anxiety. There's strong evidence, but no one said that I do full stop. <laughs> but it could happen, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> I got a pretty good score in autism. Shit, I didn't beat Kai's score, did I? Curses! Foiled again! <laughs> Drat! <laughs> I can change my answers. Let's see, let's see. Can I get a higher score? No, I, I shouldn't be fucking min-maxing my autism test. That's not normal. <laughs> oh, dear God. I guess... I guess this explains some things. I'm just gonna uh, message my manager real quick. Um, Hey, so, funny story. <laughs> there we go, they'll know, they'll know. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, question 81. Are you tempted to go back and retake the, the test for a higher score? Do you love min-maxing? <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. I'm stretching. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe this explains a few things. Maybe I'm not just being silly goofy. Maybe it's in my brain. Maybe the silliness is hardwired. It's as it should be. It's might to go pay the diagnosis guy. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Mathilde. I mean, honestly, I don't see myself, like, purposefully going out to get any sort of, uh, what's it? Any sort of diagnosis anytime soon. Just because, like, I don't think it's going to help me. I don't think it's going to, like, improve my life. It's just going to be like, oh, okay, I can say this, like, for realsies now. I think maybe, maybe the real autism was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Oh, dear God. I don't know. I don't think it's going to really impact my life too much whether I get a, 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 a capital D diagnosis or not. I think I'm allowed to just live and slay and listen to Splatoon music. <laughs> Rin, I beat you at autism. I got 200. 200 means... Very strong, uh, very strong evidence. Damn teachers, pets always getting better grades in autism than me. <laughs> you should tell Jin, she'd like to hear you aced a test. I can't do this anymore, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem, huh? What the fuck's your problem? 
Oh dear. Welcome to the Odson Club. We have meetings never and we all just hang out in our own little corners. The t-shirts are on back order. I completed the autism quiz and all I got was a number. Damn it. Damn it. Curse it to hell. Oh well. Oh well. You know what? We all learned something silly goofy maybe. This is my first message here period and I have one thing to say. Welcome to the other side of society. <laughs> Thank you very much, it's cat. Oh dear god. I've driven all of us to some interesting choices tonight, haven't I? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. As an autistic AIDS person, I feel like this is probably the most fitting time for me to send my first ever donation. You know what, I scored a hundred out of a hundred on being just like me for real, for real. Wow. And the moral of the story is be yourself and believe in your dreams. Yeah! <laughs> now I don't see myself getting a diagnosis anytime soon, but you know what, if I do, then that's, then that's quite silly. Then that's quite silly. <laughs> Good for you, honestly. Good for you. Damn, this bitch autistic. Good for her. Good for her. <laughs> a Fantasia test next. I'll have to look up some... I don't want to take one of those, like, wacky... Wacky tests. That's, like, <laughs> completely wrong in every possible way. I'll have to do some homework if I want to take a, like... Can I conjure an apple test? <laughs> this motherfucker can't even conjure an apple! <laughs> Oh dear, oh lord. Teleported gold. Thanks for joining the funny membership. Terrifying. I knew it! What the fuck? I have a friend who's a therapist, so I diagnose you by proxy. I don't think that's how it works, but thanks, I think. <laughs> I'm really not sure that's how it works, buddy. But I appreciate the gesture. After a few years in VTubing uh, in Idol, alcoholism will probably be the next A to be added! <laughs> I'm done for. I'm done for. I'm collecting all of the A words, like... Awesome and... And... <laughs> oh no. And... Active. I'm gonna get into running. <laughs> Oh no. You know what? I think we've done what we came here to do. ADHD. No, yeah. Next time. Next time on. Let's. I'll ask if I can do that then. Because <laughs> that's quite silly. <laughs> oh dear. We're gonna find out just how many comorbid. <laughs> Slaps head of Rin. This bad boy can fit so many comorbidities. <laughs> oh, G Rin, hi! <laughs> Hi, I, 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 Matthew. Thank you very much. Oh dear. I think I've done what I set out to do this evening. We had a good time. We learned some stuff along the way. And now I'm sleepy, so I got, I'm gonna go lie down. <laughs> oh boy. I slept all day. Why am I still tired? Is this an autism thing? Am I trapped? Oh boy. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, for for coming out. I'm glad I could be just like you for real, for real. This will, nothing is gonna change because of the stream. I just want you to know that. Nothing, literally just business as usual. <laughs> this revelation is not going to change a single thing in my life and you know it. Oh no, we'll get that when we get there. I'm gonna send you over to Roka now. I'll see you on the flip side. I've got to stop using the vine boom, it's way too funny. I'm not funny, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs>